it's Miss Beth, and today is story time day. Boop, 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 boop. I love this day because I get to share some great stories with you. All right, today's great story is called Rainbows. It's a nonfiction book, and we're going to learn about how rainbows are created. All right, Rainbows, and it is written by Martha E. H. Rustad, and the publisher is Capstone Press, a capstone imprint. All right, rainbows. I love rainbows. I love to see when they then when they show up and now we're going to learn how they show up. Here's the question. What are rainbows? The raindrops stop falling, the sun peeks out from behind the clouds. Do you see the rainbow? I see the rainbow right over here. And the other day I saw one in the sky because it was raining and sunny at the same time. Maybe you saw the same rainbow. A rainbow is a curve of colored stripes. At the top we see red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Then we see indigo and violet. These colors are shades of purple. See that beautiful rainbow starts with red and then it goes down the color scheme and ends with indigo and violet. Why do rainbows shine? Rainbows happen when light shines through tiny water drops. Light looks white, but it is made up of many colors. The water drops act like a prism. A prism bends light and separates the colors. We see a rainbow. So here's, here's what a prism looks like and it's bending the light. So it's white going in and it gets to be a prism and then it bends the colors through, through that and creates colors of the rainbow. Sun dogs. Sometimes in cold air, we see sun dogs. Light bends through ice crystals instead of water drops. This creates two spots of light to the left and the right of the sun. I have never seen one of these. I did not even know these existed. So Miss Beth learned something today. So do you see, here's the sun and these are the sun dogs to the right and to the left of the sun. That is so cool. I would love to see something like that. Whoa! See a rainbow. Rainbows appear in the sky opposite of the sun. They are easier to see when the sun is low in the sky. You see the rainbow up there? Opposite the sun. Here's the rainbow. Here's the sun. Rainbows seem to touch the ground, but they do not. Our eyes are playing tricks on our brains. See, so look, it looks like it's touching the ground, but that's really not happening. A double rainbow has two bands of colors. The color pattern is backward in the top rainbow. Violet is the top color. So rainbows always start out with red, but when it's a double rainbow, one rainbow starts out with red and then goes the color scheme and the other one starts backwards. So it, the violet is on top and then it goes down the color scheme. That is so cool. I did not know that either. I never noticed. To see a rainbow, wait for a rainy day. Watch for the rain to stop and the sun to shine. You will see an amazing sight.
All right, let's talk a couple vocabulary words that maybe didn't make sense to you. A forecast is a prediction for what the weather will be. Indigo, remember we talked about indigo? Indigo is a bluish purple color. A prism, a prism is a piece of glass or plastic. Light waves bend when they pass through a prism. A sun dog, a bright spot that appears on either side of the sun. A sun dog is caused by light bending through ice crystals. And violet, violet is another word for purple. Oh, that was good. That was the book called Rainbows, and that was so good. I learned a whole bunch of new things. I sure hope you did too. My name is Miss Beth, and I will see you next time. Have an absolutely fantastical day.